Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's been a hot minute. I know it's been a while, but I am going to be more consistent where YouTube, inshallah, like this video because the setup is somewhat here. I'll probably make it a little bit better, but the point is this. I'll be making more and more YouTube videos. And so on my return from a little bit of a break, I wanted to go over how has it been in Dubai? Well, how have the last two months been? I moved to the UAE two months ago. Some of you guys think that I moved to Dubai. No, I actually moved. I live in Sharjah. Now, a lot of people think Sharjah is a lot of South Asians. It's run down. It's not that great. That's far from the truth. And you'd be very surprised. There are certain parts of Sharjah that are actually very nice. And when you are in certain communities, it doesn't even feel like well, you're in charge. I actually feel like you're in Dubai. And so I probably won't mention which community I'm in, but I'm in a community where there's villas and townhouses. And Alhamdulillah, honestly speaking, in the beginning, I was a little bit taken back. Like, oh man, like I'm not sure this is a little bit quiet. It's, you know, there's a lot of elderly people. When I say elderly, look, I'm 30 years old, but it seems like, obviously speaking, I don't know how else to say this apart from people later on in their life tend to have a lot more money, right? As obviously, you know, when you're 40, 50 years old, you probably end up making a lot more because you've progressed in your jobs and so on and so forth. So the people that live in the community are more in the 40s and 50s, and it's very difficult to find young couples. Having said that, it was a bit of a worry in the beginning. Absolutely love it now. Alhamdulillah. Like I would say the best thing that I've ever done, and I'm so happy I've done it. And I'm sure. And I'm sharing it with you guys because I want it to be a little bit of a motivation for yourself. If you're in the UK, America, Canada, wherever you are, and you're not finding it great, and you're feeling like, you know what, I wish I could get out of this country. Honestly speaking, Sharjah is a fantastic place, and I would completely recommend it. It's much cheaper than Dubai, so don't feel as if it's very expensive. It's actually, you can get something quite cheaper. And how far is it from Dubai? Well, where I am, it takes me 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get to Dubai Mall. Downtown, Business Bay, that sort of area it takes me 20, 25 minutes. And in the night, it can even take me 17, 18 minutes. And so it's definitely not unreachable to Dubai. And I like to be a little bit outside of the busy area and then, you know, commute into, you know, the busy area when and if I need to. Obviously, I don't really uh, work a job as such, alhamdulillah, again. Uh, but because of that, I don't really have to travel in. Now, some of the cons, I, I've definitely found that some of the processes are a little bit slower compared to the UK, which is where I'm from. Like renting a house or renting a place can be a little bit um, administratively difficult sometimes, you know, getting paperwork done, getting your elect electricity and gas turned on, uh, you know, so the little of things can take time. And that's something you have to get around. That's something you have to get used to. And honestly speaking, that's been the only negative. I mean, apart from that, huge positives. The sun's out, um, amazing, beautiful people who, you know, practice Islam and, you know, the same morals and the same understanding and the same values live around you and close to you. You know, even the children that are playing will play, but come to Salah in the masjid and everyone prays together. It is so nice from that avenue that everything around is around like Islam and the masajids and praying salah. It's amazing. So if there is the one con, I would say the processes and getting things done can be a little bit slower. Sharjah is four day week and it's not five days. What that means is Friday, Saturday and Sundays is off. It's good for people who are working jobs uh, like via the government, schools, government, that sort of thing. You're going to work four days. But obviously, if someone wants to get something done on a Thursday, well, you're going to have to wait because it's three days and you're not going to get anything done till Monday. So that can be a little bit difficult. But I have to be honest, man, like, alhamdulillah for everything. Do I miss the UK? Yeah, a little bit of, you know, family or friends, you do miss them. But it's like, I know for a fact in my heart, if I go back, you know, three or four days later, I will want to come back to the UAE. So I would say that if you guys are thinking about it, definitely come out spend some time out here, enjoy the weather, you know, see how, you know, the cost of living. It's difficult for me to give you a, a clear idea, indication of cost of living because my situation may be different, difficult to others. You know, I might not worry about certain things where other, others might. I'm not planning on sending my child to school. He will be homeschooled. And so I don't really worry about homeschooling. Though I will just add, and I will say this, that we did have a bit of a scare uh, 
week or two weeks ago where one of us had to go to the hospital and I won't go into it too much. But the point is this, we spent, uh, I think it worked out to be 70, 80 pound, definitely not a lot. And it was, you know, three, four hours checkup, medicine given, hospital, that sort of thing. And it wasn't more than 70 or 80 pound. Ambulance came, everything was looked after. So I will say this, sometimes people do scare you a lot and make you think that, oh, you can't move there because, you know, it's going to be very expensive. We will get medical insurance. Uh, the permissibility side, again, will maybe I'll talk about a later uh, time. You know, out of necessity, it's fine. Though what I would say is even if you don't have that, it's not an arm and a leg as long as obviously you're not going to have surgery, for example. So, you know, these are the things that I do want to share with you. And overall, I think the last two months have been an amazing experience. Obviously, the first one, two weeks, you're a little bit in the air. You're a little bit unsure. But as time has gone on, Allah Azzawajal has made it easier and easier. And I am so very happy with the move. And I would only recommend it to you guys completely. And look, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Set, add me up on the Instagram uh, send me a message and I'll try to help. Sometimes I get a lot of messages. Forgive me if I don't reply, but I'll try my best in replying. Uh, and yeah, look, that's it. But I will just finish with this. The recruitment course, which many of you guys know, is actually on discount today. 12 o'clock UK time, that discount is going to finish. It's 566 over three months if you are interested or 1699. If you're not, no problem at all. But I thought I'd let you know. But that's all from me today. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.